Hi, we're back in 10.5, part two of my video on how to find the distance from a point to a given line. What we found so far was the equation of the line that is perpendicular to the given line, here is our given line, that passes through the given point. And you can find all those steps in my last video. So what do we do from here? Well, I need the intersection point between the line that was given and the line that I found. Well, how do I find the intersection of two lines? Well, two lines that intersect? That sounds like a system of linear equations to me. Notice that I have both of them in y equals mx plus b format. y equals negative 2x and y equals 1 half x plus 3. What I can do is I can solve this system, y equals negative 2x and y equals 1 half x plus 3. I want to solve this system. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to use a system of equations technique we called substitution. I'm going to substitute one of these equations for the other y. So I'm going to write negative 2x instead of this y on the bottom equals 1 half x plus 3. All right, from here it's a matter of solving for x. I'm going to go ahead and subtract 1 half x from both sides. And it looks like I get negative 2 and a half. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, make that a fraction. I think that's going to be easiest for me here. So negative two and a half would be negative five halves. That would be, yeah, negative two and a half x equals three. And a technique we learned earlier in the year to solve when we've got a, a fraction coefficient is to multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply both sides by negative two over five. That allows me to cancel this out and get x is equal to negative 6 over 5. Um, it isn't an even number here. Um, it's not a perfect number, but uh, we're still going to be able to work with this to find the rest of our ideas. So uh, from here, I've got negative 6 over 5 as my x value. And I'm going to find the y value where they intersect. Well, how do I do that? I'm going to plug in my x value back up here to one of these equations. It doesn't matter which one. It should be the same y value either way. So I plug it in. I'll plug it into the first equation. y equals negative 2 times a negative 6 over 5. And that would be y is equal to a positive 12 fifths. And if this helps you to convert this back to a decimal, um, it may. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to because these fractions are going to get pretty messy in step three. But we finished step two. We found the coordinate of this point. This point is at, and I'm going to go ahead and convert it to a decimal before I get to my last step here. This point is at the x value of negative 1.2, comma, uh, let's see here, and 2.4. Again, it, it's really nice and tidy when this dot ends up working out right on a grid line, right on whole number pairs. At this point, it didn't, um, which forces us to work a little harder for it, um, but we're still going to be able to solve the problem just fine. Our last step is distance, and I'll have to carry on with that in our last video. But you can figure it out for yourselves at this point, probably we're going to need to use the distance formula. We're going to do the distance from the point we found, which is the intersection point, and the given point A. Um, I'll do that in my next video in just a moment, and follow along in your next video on YouTube. Thanks.